GoDaddy is one of the most trusted site builders around for small businesses, with features for building an online store, booking appointments, and more. In this video, we'll walk through a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to build a website on GoDaddy. Let's get started. Step 1. Create an account and answer GoDaddy's prompts. To start building your website, visit GoDaddy, then click on the Start for Free button on the homepage. You'll then be prompted to create a GoDaddy account by connecting with Google, Facebook, or by manually typing in your email address. In the next screen, GoDaddy will then prompt you with a series of questions about your business to help start building your website. These questions will include things like your website's main objectives, your selling options, the kind of business you own, among others. Once you've answered all of these prompts, you'll automatically be directed to your GoDaddy dashboard. Your dashboard is where you'll set up and manage all the details of your site. This includes your e-commerce, your website design, to your marketing and your appointment booking features. If this is your first time creating a website on GoDaddy, we recommend starting by setting up your e-commerce features first and foremost. Step 2. Set up your e-commerce features. Inside your dashboard, you'll find that GoDaddy already has a checklist prepared to make it easier for you to set up your e-commerce. To start setting up your online store, click on the Design and Publish Your Online Store option under the Commerce tab. This will lead you directly to GoDaddy's main site editor, which is where you'll customize the individual elements of your website and get an overall feel of how it looks and works. Scroll down to Site Editor and you'll find a prompt to set up your online store. To start adding products to your inventory, click on the Add Products button. In the pop-up box, add the details of your store's products, including their name, image, description, price, and others. If you offer non-physical products like ebooks or digital downloads, you can also do the same under the video slash digital option. On the bottom of the window, you can also add shipping information if you have physical products, like weight and height dimensions. You can also add a custom URL slug for your products under the search engines tab. Once you're done adding in your products, click Save on the bottom left corner to return to the site builder. Your products will automatically show up on your website. You'll also probably want to customize how your store looks on your website. On the right-hand menu of the site editor, click the Layout option and choose a layout you prefer for your store. You can also customize your store's accent color, title, image shape, and more. Once you've customized your store's products and design, click on the Publish button on the upper menu to save your edits and publish your store live. Then navigate back to your dashboard under the Website Builder drop-down box. After you set up your online store, you can also explore your site's other e-commerce features. On your dashboard, click on the Explore Your Commerce Hub tab to access your main commerce hub. This is where you can manage all the elements of your online store. To edit your store's products, click on the Products button to access your inventory. This is where you can add, edit, and delete your products. If you also want to set up in-person selling, click on the Virtual Terminal section on the lower right corner of the screen, then click on Payment Tools. GoDaddy also has POS hardware that you can purchase for your business. Step 3. Design your website. After setting up your e-commerce features, you can start customizing your website's overall design. On your Commerce Hub, click on the GoDaddy logo on the upper left corner, then click on your store's website in the next screen to return to your dashboard. Then, click on the Edit Website button to re-enter the Site Editor. Inside the Site Editor, you'll also be able to customize the individual elements of your website. To add a page, click the plus icon on the right-hand menu, then type in your page's name. You can also choose whether or not to let it appear on your navigation bar. Once you're done, click Create Page. To reorder pages, click on the Reorder Page icon beside the plus icon on the menu, then click and drag the pages in the order you prefer. They'll also be reordered on your navigation bar. To rename a page, click on the gear icon beside the page you want to rename, then choose Rename and type in your preferred page name. To delete a page, hover over the page you want to delete, click on the gear icon, then click Delete Page. You'll also need to edit the sections that make up each page of your website. Do keep in mind that the GoDaddy editing platform isn't a drag and drop editor like Wix or Squarespace's, so all of your site's sections come with pre-built layouts and elements to make the setup process easier. To add a new section, click on the Add Section button above or below the section you want to add a new one to, then choose the kind of section you want and its layout, and it'll automatically appear on your site. 
To reorder sections, click on the up and down arrows on the upper right corner of each section. To edit your section's layout, click on the layout icon in the same section, then choose a layout from the menu. Finally, to delete a section, click on the ellipsis button on the upper right corner, then choose Delete Section. You can also edit the elements inside each section and add in your own text, images, and brand logo. To edit text, click on the text element you want to edit, then type in your text. To edit images, click on the image element, then click on the Change Image button on the right-hand menu to upload your own image. You can also choose a different photo frame and add an image description and link. To add a logo, click on your website's name on the header section, then upload your own logo on the right-hand menu. Finally, after adding in your content, you can also customize how your site looks, its colors, fonts, and more. To choose a new theme for your website, click on the theme tab on the right-hand menu, then click the Try a New Look button to open up GoDaddy's themes menu. Choose and click on the theme you want, and it will automatically apply to your website. To edit your site's color, on the same theme tab, click on the color option, then choose and adjust the colors of your site. To edit your fonts, click on the fonts tab, then choose your site's primary and secondary fonts. Or you can also choose one of GoDaddy's font combinations below. Finally, to edit your buttons, click on the buttons tab, then choose your primary and secondary buttons from the options available. Once you're done with your site's overall design, click on the preview button on the upper left corner to preview how your site looks. And once you're happy with your design, click on Publish in the same section to save and publish your changes live. Step 4. Set up your marketing features. After you've set up your online store and customized your site's design, the last important thing to do is to optimize its marketing features so that your website reaches your target audience and pulls in web traffic. To set up your marketing features, navigate back to your dashboard on the upper left corner of the screen. Once you're in your dashboard, click on the Start Marketing button to access all your marketing tools. Inside your marketing hub, you can set up and manage your site's SEO, your email marketing, your social media posts, your Google and Yelp profiles, and your appointment booking features. We'll go through each step, starting with your SEO. To set up your SEO, click on the SEO tab, then click on the Start button. GoDaddy will then show you a series of prompts to set up your site's SEO keywords. You'll need to input your site's main key phrases, add keywords and descriptions, and refine your on-page text and more. You can also monitor the effectiveness of your site's SEO on Google by connecting with your Google account. Under the same SEO tab, click on the Google sign-in button, then choose a Google account to connect to. Next, you can also set up your email marketing. In the Marketing Hub, click on the Email Marketing tab. In the next screen, you can start creating an email campaign via the Create a New Email button. You also have up to 25,000 email credits per month as part of your GoDaddy plan. On the bottom of the screen, you'll also find a list of all your email campaigns once you have them. GoDaddy also has tools to create and publish social media posts right from your dashboard. To access these features, click on the Social Posts tab under Marketing. Similarly, you can also go ahead and start creating social posts from the templates provided, or you can create them from scratch via the Create Social Post button. You can add an image, write your caption, then publish or schedule your posts on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Next, while this step isn't mandatory, it's good practice to connect your Google Business Profile to your website, if you have one. This makes your business more credible to visitors and gives them a more streamlined experience with your brand. To connect to your Google listing, navigate back to the Marketing Overview tab. On the bottom right of your marketing checklist, you'll find a tab to create a Google listing. Click on a tab, then choose to connect a pre-existing listing or to create a new one. Finally, one of GoDaddy's most helpful features is its appointment booking tool. This lets site visitors make appointments with your business directly on your website. To set up these tools, click on the Appointments tab on the header section, then choose Overview. In the following screen, click on the Add Service button to add an appointment. You can choose between a regular appointment such as a consultation or a training session, a one-time event like a webinar or retreat, or repeating events like weekly classes. Once you've filled on a form, click the Save button and you're done. Step 5. Review your website. After you set up your website's marketing features, it's essentially ready to start accepting site visitors. However, before you choose a subscription plan, here are a few things you can review to better optimize your site and help you stand out from competitors. 
your website navigation. Double check that all your web pages are present and linked in the proper order. Your branding. Be sure that the themes, colors, and fonts of your site align with your business's overall branding to create stronger brand recall. While they aren't mandatory for US-based businesses, adding cookie banners can create a more fulfilling website experience for your visitors. You can add a cookie banner under your settings tab. Your website's domain is the official name that people type into the navigation bar to reach your website. And the good news is that every subscription plan on GoDaddy automatically comes with a custom domain. Your favicon. You can upload your custom favicon in the settings tab. Connecting with your social media profiles is essential to any business's success today. You can connect your social profiles under the settings tab, then choose social media links. Finally, GoDaddy also has options to connect with your Facebook and Pinterest meta tags to help you track your site's performance in those platforms. You can add your meta tags under analytics and tracking in the settings tab. Step six, choose a subscription plan. After you've reviewed all the details of your site, you're ready to finalize it with a subscription plan. On your dashboard, click on your account name on the upper right corner, then click on My Products. This will display a list of all your GoDaddy products, including your website's free trial. Under the Websites and Marketing tab, click on the View Plans button, then choose a plan in the next screen that best suits your needs. Once you've chosen a plan, fill in your billing information in the next screen, then click Save, and your new plan will automatically apply to your website. You can also upgrade your plan later on if you feel your site's needs are changing. And that sums up how to build a website on GoDaddy. GoDaddy has some of the most helpful features around for any small business looking to expand their online presence, and you can get started today with a 7-day free trial. To learn more about all things GoDaddy and if it's the best site builder for you, check out our expert GoDaddy review. Or to learn your other options, read through our list of GoDaddy alternatives. You'll find both articles in the description below. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.